Hello everyone, welcome back to the Geek Blend. I'm Jeff, and uh, just bringing you guys this quick news video. It's uh, something that I saw last week on Bloody Disgusting, one of the horror news sites out there. There's a ton of them, by the way. Just type in horror news on Google. There's a ton of great news sites for horror films. Great website. I do check that out quite a bit. So let's get into what I saw here, and something pretty cool. I just wanted to bring you this quick video, talk about this. Nothing huge, nothing major, but something I thought was pretty neat. So here it is. John Carpenter's Halloween, returning to drive-in theaters along with Halloween 4 and Halloween 5. So all these films will be coming to drive-in theaters, well, select ones. Much like Sam Raimi's Evil Dead, John Carpenter's slasher classic Halloween is also headed back to drive-in theaters this year. Announced by HalloweenMovies.com today. Also, if you're a fan of Halloween and the Halloween franchise in general, HalloweenMovies.com is a great, great site. The site explains that Trancus International Films and Compass International Pictures have joined forces with Cinelife Entertainment in order to bring Halloween to audiences safely during this pan during this time of pandemic. With the film being offered up to drive-in locations through the Halloween season, and not just Halloween, but also Halloween 4 and Halloween 5. Cinelife Entertainment notes this is a restored and remastered digital print created under the supervision of world-renowned cinematographer Dean Cundy. What this means is that the three films are now available for booking and a handful of drive-in theaters have already signed on. Learn more at HalloweenMovies.com. And direct your... Okay, here's the website here. And direct your local drive-in owners to Cinelife's website to book the film. So, open this link here. And I'll leave the link in the description. Here it is right here. So, what you can do is basically you can book it, you know, purchase tickets. But you can also look for venues to see if there's one playing it right here. If you know your drive-in owner or if you'd like to see it. Just give them a call, recommend the film, say, hey, I would like to see it this Halloween or this October. Um, right now, our local drive-in is actually playing Halloween 2018. Uh, they've been playing a lot of films this summer, of 80s, 90s, and classics and stuff as well. We have six screens at our local drive-in, which is about 30 to 40 minutes away from where I live, which isn't too bad. I haven't been this summer yet, but we're actually planning on going this week, hopefully, to see Halloween 2018, and then maybe even see Gremlins afterwards. But there's a ton of stuff playing. It's really cool. If you guys have a drive-in theater near you that you can go to, I highly recommend it. It's a really fun experience. If you've never been, definitely definitely have to try it one time because it's really fun. And here's the article from Halloween Movies. Uh, it talks the same thing, basically saying, you've seen Halloween, but you've ever experienced it. Many first did at a drive-in. Uh, also, last year, uh, our local cheap theater, which basically has movies you know, after they're done in the theatrical run and they're about to come on DVD, they go over there and they're about two bucks. They actually had Halloween... Um, 1978 there last year and I went with a friend and saw it in the theater which was the first time I've ever done that actually so it was really nice to see it in theaters but I would love to experience it in the drive-in like a lot of people did back in 1978 it also says that Halloween 4 and Halloween 5 so Halloween 4 the return of Michael Myers and Halloween 5 the revenge of Michael Myers is also coming as well which is pretty cool if you're a fan of those films I am I'm a big fan of the entire Halloween franchise the good and the bad except for the Rob Zombie films I will not watch those again unless I'm doing a review for them which I will be doing this October it does say here that locations showing John Carpenter's Halloween this week include Hummel's Drive-In in Winchester Indiana as well as Evo Entertainment locations in both San Antonio and Austin Texas on 731 this was an older article, of course. That's why it says 731. Uh, additional drive-ins also showing Halloween include ones in Nashville, Tennessee, Montana Drive-In, Buffalo, New York, Kane Family Drive-In, Hartford and New Haven, Connecticut, Pleasant Valley Drive-In, and Weston, New York, Warwick Drive-In. So definitely check those out if you live in those areas. And again, if you want to see this in your local drive-in, direct your drive-in management or owner to the website that I will leave in the description below. It's centerlifeentertainment.com slash event slash Halloween. You can also locate, I believe, theaters that are playing the film. So yes, you can put in a zip code and it will bring up a uh, drive-in playing the film. Very quick video for you guys, but I wanted to discuss that because I think it's kind of cool with everything going on with the theaters not being open at the moment and uh, not being able to go see movies anymore. Right now, we like we like to. If you do have a local drive-in in your area, uh, I, I think that's awesome, and you definitely should go check it out and support them. If you don't have one around where you live, definitely get on Google and search for the closest one nearby because you never know, there might be one closer than you think. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. What are your thoughts about Halloween, Halloween 4, and Halloween 5 going back to the drive-in theaters? Leave a comment down below, or you can find links to my social media in the description for Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff, and also a link to my Discord server if you guys want to join and join in discussion over there. Also, you can find a link to our Patreon page in the description as well. 
and you can donate as little as one dollar a month really help us out and continue to bring you guys great content here on the channel hope you guys have had a great weekend i hope you guys have a great rest of your week i'm jeff this is the geek plan and remember if you geek about it we speak about it see you guys next time